Hey everyone, it's Paul with your Bold Profits Daily for Tuesday. And today I want to continue on what I started last week, which is talking about really something that most people, especially new traders, new speculators, new investors, rarely think about, which is that how should you really approach the stock market? And many people automatically, in my experience, go to words a certain way of thinking about it, which is that they immediately go to looking to value the company based on the business. And I am going to commit a form of heresy and all the value investors and all the purists will say, this dude doesn't know anything and you should ignore him and you should never pay any attention to him. And I would tell you that for the regular investor, for the mom and pop investor, for the retail investor, for the Main Street investor, that kind of analysis to some extent is going to be counterproductive, especially today. And that's because in my judgment, I believe that that world has largely passed and that you can see by the fact that a lot of old ways of investing no longer work. Value investing doesn't really work. Uh, there's other forms of investing that uh, the Warren Buffett style of investing doesn't really work. And that's because markets are always adapting. Markets are always changing. I'm sure there was a time when people really never fully understood some of the ways of value investing, did not really understand some of the ways of Warren Buffett investing and other forms of investing, which today are completely understood. And there was also, for sure, a certain time when information about companies, information about investing were just much harder to come by. Today, this is available to everybody. Everybody with an internet connection can log online, go look up an accounting statement, go look up analysis about those statements. All of those numbers are available. You can go on YouTube and you can get complete tutorials that are likely better than anything that you might have ever gotten 15, 20 years ago about all of these forms of investing. And because of that, I believe that the form of investing that we use at Bull Profits, this is the winning strategy. This is the winning way for the current time. And I'll also say this, which is that we've really never had a period of time where we've had so much uh, nearly uh, automated forms of investing available, whether it be robo-investing, algorithms, artificial intelligence, neural networks, they've all taken many of the old forms of investing and wiped out all of the advantages associated with it, which is why I came up with my particular way of investing, which really requires you to pay attention to what the stock price is and I can tell you that this is the basis of the way we select our investments, speculations, trades, whatever you want to call it, and we call it going upness. And alongside with rules of the game, which is how you go about implementing uh, any trades that you get, any speculations that you get, any investments that you get, going upness really gets to the essence of what to me, stock market investing is for small investors, for regular investors. The big investors, they really deal in a completely different world. They've got billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars. Some of them even have a trillion dollars. And so we focus on three absolute critical things. Now, last week, I talked about rules of the game. Going upness really is the system by which we pick our trades. And so there's three critical elements to it. One is that whatever you are buying, there has to be some element of scarcity. And by scarcity, it means obviously on an absolute level that the number of shares uh, represented by a company, the number of units represented by the company, however it is, are scarce on some level. Now there's ma many levels that you can think of this on. Obviously there are big companies that have billions of shares outstanding and there are small companies that have just a few million shares that are outstanding, and it has to be relative to the value that is represented in the company, relative to the technology that they have, relative to the product and service that they represent, relative to the growth that they have. So 
there's no perfect way to do this. It does require your judgment. So the first element is scarcity. The second element is valuability. In other words, rather than just value, you have to see something that has rising value, which is what the stock market always wants, always in any stock market of any kind, any bull market, rising value is what investors are looking for. And I believe that in the current stock market, the thing that really matters is sales growth. Sales growth that is there at present, sales growth that is in the future. And a great example of that is Amazon. Amazon, as many people complain, has no profits, no earnings per share. However, its share price keeps going up because people can see that they keep feeding all of their profits back into the company because the company is still growing at a very rapid rate. So sales growth in the current market really represents the value that matters. And finally, the thing that perhaps is most misunderstood by people, in my judgment, is most people simply do not think about what is it that makes a stock price rise. And many people think it's a function of calculating the uh, business's growth or perhaps uh, a function of what its value is or working on what's earnings per share. And the truth is, is that ultimately a price rise for a stock is driven by someone, whether it be an algorithm, AI, neural network, a person, an ETF with you know that particular stock in it coming to bid the stock higher. In other words, there has to be more demand than there is of supply of the stock at that given moment to force that person, that algorithm, that trading bot to bid the stock higher. So those are the three critical elements of going upness that alongside with rules of the game are really the critical factors to success in the stock market today. So just to review it, you have to for have a form of scarcity, which I call scarceability. It can be relative to the number of shares. It could be relative to the type of company, how few there are in the industry, relative to the kind of growth that they represent relative to other companies, all forms of it. Valuability, which is, in my judgment, rising sales growth, or some element of the company that really is showing very, very significant growth that people can see and can foresee is going to continue. And the third is that the stock, the speculation, the trade must be something that is in demand, which we call in demandness. So these are the three critical things if you're looking to make money in the stock market today that really, really matter. So I've just been taking a few break, uh, taking a break from telling you about stocks, telling you about America 2.0, but I will say that if you want stocks that are selected on this basis, well, click on the strong hands above, and that is going to take you to my America 2.0 presentation, which really gets at the most scarce stocks in the stock market today that have these elements incorporated in it. They, are, they have scarceability, they have valuability, and they are in demand. They have in demandness, these three qualities that I believe drive significant performance by seeing the price rise of, of these particular stocks. And that's what I believe you should focus on. So click on the strong hands above. Take you to my America 2.0 presentation for Profits Unlimited, which is my flagship publication, and where all of the stocks are picked on this basis. And of course, if you like the content of this channel, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe below, and comment if you have used Going Upness to select stocks for your portfolio. And we'll have another bold profits for you next week. Until then, this is Paul saying bye.